Hey digital artists, in this video we are going to go over the directions for the Soul LeWitt Conceptual Art Project. So when you get your copy of the Google Drawing, you're going to see in the center a circular grid. So there's a circular grid in this art project because we're going to use this circular grid to follow some directions for you to interpret. Our art history connection is Soul LeWitt and he was a contemporary American conceptual artist. He believed that each person draws a line differently and each person understands words differently. He's well known for his wall drawings and his wall drawings, he provided written instructions and then somebody else actually completed the project. So he made thousands of directions for these wall drawings that were created by somebody else. So he provided the concept or the idea and then somebody else created it. He also created artworks that used circular grids. So what is conceptual art? Conceptual art is a stylistic period in which the artist values the concept or the big idea of the artwork. It's more important than the traditional aesthetic or the way things look, the technical abilities and the material concerns of the artist. The main idea is more important than the final outcome. So in Sol Lewitt's version of conceptual art, his written steps were the most important part and the outcome, how somebody else interpreted his direction was not as important to him. So for planning for this project, there are no winners and losers. There's no wrong way to interpret these directions. Think outside the box for a unique way to interpret them. Each person will understand them differently. So we're gonna create using the conceptual art instructions. We're gonna use shapes, fill color, border color, and border weight tools, or other tools like polyline or curve to create your interpretation of the directions. So it has 18 steps, and these steps come from Blick Art Materials. This was a lesson plan that they created to have you do this on paper and pencil using this printout of a circular grid. But not everybody has access to art materials right now, so we're using the digital idea, using it in Google Drawing. So we're gonna use these steps that are numbered one through 18 to come up with our interpretation of directions for a conceptual artwork. So I've provided here for you some shapes that you might wanna use to create your artwork. So I'm gonna go over how you can edit some of these shapes. So with the block arc shape, I'm not gonna just click it and move it over because it goes behind. That's not what I wanna do. So I'm gonna do Control Z to undo. If I wanna use these shapes here, I can just click on it and use Control D to duplicate. Then the shape is on top. When I look at this shape, it has some things that I can move. I can resize it, and if I wanna keep it in proportion, I can press Shift, that way when I stretch it out, it's even. So I can press Shift and click to drag. Then I can use the yellow diamonds. I can use the yellow diamonds by clicking and dragging, and it's gonna change my shape's thickness, thinness, and how round it is. And if I wanna go back, I can just move it back or I can use Control Z to undo. So I can use both of these yellow diamonds to change my block arc shape. So that's changing the block arc shape. I used the block arc shape to make a half a circle and to make a quarter circle. I also used the pie. So you can get any of these shapes from the shapes toolbox in the corner. We're using the pie, the block arc, and the donut to make rings, half rings, quarter rings. And to make sections, I used the frame, or you could try using the half frame. So those were the shapes that I chose to use for my project. To change the pie shape, you can duplicate the shape that I have here. And when we zoom in on it, you can see the yellow diamonds. We can make a half circle, a quarter circle, a thin slice, or a large slice like a Pac-Man. By arranging the yellow diamonds. So in the directions, I'm looking for your interpretation. It doesn't say where to put things. It just tells you what colors they should be. 
and the types of designs. So when you're looking at the directions, I'm looking for your interpretation and everyone's should look different. Once you're all done with your design, you wanna have everything stuck together. So in my artwork, mine is over here, my finished example. This is what mine looks like when it was all done. What I did to finish my artwork, to refine my finishing touches, I used the word art tool to sign my name by going to insert word art, typing in my name and the date, and then using the font to change the font color. I even chose the fill color and the border color so that my name popped out from my design. I want everything in my design to stick together, so I select it, and then I go to arrange group. Everything's already stuck together in mine, so it only gives me the choice to ungroup, but you want to use group, so that way you can move your artwork around if you need to. After you finish your idea for the conceptual art project, you're gonna go to our Google Classroom and you're gonna write your artist statement using our Google Doc template. So take a, take a risk, take a chance, be creative. You can use any of the tools in Google Drawing for this.